To enter a spin, you need to increase and maintain your pitch attitude to induce a stall and then apply rudder in the desired direction of spin. For the Fokker E3 spin recovery, you first must push the stick forward with aileron in the direction of spin and then apply full rudder opposite to spin direction. First off, we're going to demonstrate the left hand spin in the Fokker E3, so we pitch the nose up, drop our airspeed as we begin to stall, apply left rudder and the aircraft begins to spin. So what you do is you start pushing the stick forward to the 10 o'clock position here and then apply right rudder. If it doesn't quite work then you'll need to maybe rock it back and forth a little bit or even use the blip switch and then it pulls out. Look at the left hand spin from external. Okay, you see the nose start pitching up aircraft begins to stall by full left rudder, aircraft begins to spin. Then you push the stick to 10 o'clock and apply full right rudder. If it doesn't work, you begin rocking back and forth and also you can use the blip switch to turn the engine off as the nose comes down and then re-engage it. That can help bring you out. So now onto the right hand spin. Okay, you're going to initiate the right hand spin. So you pitch up. Aircraft start to stall, right rudder. Aircraft initiates the right hand spin. So now we just put the stick to 2 o'clock with full left rudder. And it should recover pretty easy. And we just level out. Right hand spin external. Okay, just about to enter the spin. Full right rudder. Enters the spin. Stick to the two o'clock position, full left rudder, and it recovers. And that's how you perform the spin recovery for the Fokker E3.